Twice a year, lots of people around the world move their clocks backwards or forward, wreaking havoc on mornings across the globe. But why? What's the point of daylight savings? Let's find out on today's episode of Colossal Question. Credit for the idea of daylight savings time, or DST, is often given to a famous founding father, super inventor Benjamin Franklin. However, that's not quite right. While in France in 1784, Franklin, ever the jokester, wrote an anonymous essay suggesting people could save money on candles by waking up earlier and using the sunlight, but he never said anything about changing the clocks. That came over 100 years later, when an avid bug collector in New Zealand named George Hudson first proposed daylight savings time as we know it. You see, he had a job that left him with enough afternoon hours to get his bug collecting in, but having daylight in the afternoon was crucial. He wrote a paper suggesting we shift the clock by two hours for part of the year to help save his precious evening daylight. But it wasn't until the First World War that it really caught on. First, the German Empire and Austria-Hungary introduced daylight savings time in 1916. Then Britain, France, and the Allies did the same. Soon, the rest of Europe started using it, and a year later, Russia was on board. Last but not least, the US adopted daylight saving in 1918. Most countries in North America and Europe kept using DST after the end of the Second World War, and in the 1970s, it was officially adopted. There's two different versions of DST on Earth, one for the Northern Hemisphere and one for the Southern. Daylight saving time is much less important the closer you live to the equator. That's because daylight hours and nighttime hours stay basically the same all year round. That's why most places near the equator have never bothered with DST. Even though the U.S. has daylight savings time, there are a few places near the equator that don't. Hawaii, most of Arizona, Puerto Rico, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and American Samoa. So that's why we have DST. But does it really make a difference? That really depends on where you live. And now you know why we have daylight savings in the U.S. Comment below if you have a question you'd like to know the answer to. And don't forget to subscribe for more episodes of... Colossal Questions! Only on DreamWorks TV.